Building Bridges, Respect in Group Communication. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of group study and collaboration, respecting diverse perspectives and opinions. Building trust and rapport within a group can often be directly linked to how well we respect and value one another's viewpoints. Let's explore this vital topic. In any group setting, people come from varied backgrounds and experiences. Each person brings a unique perspective to the table, often shaped by their cultural, personal, and educational journey. Recognizing this diversity is the foundation of effective group communication by respecting these varied perspectives. 1. Groups foster inclusivity. Everyone feels valued and heard. 2. Better solutions emerge. Diverse opinions lead to a wider range of solutions. 3. Harmony is maintained. Fewer conflicts arise when respect is mutual. 1. Active listening. Truly listen to others without immediately formulating a response. This shows you value their opinion. 2. Avoid interruptions. Wait for someone to finish speaking before you voice your thoughts. 3. Open-ended questions. Asking questions like, can you explain more about that? Can open the door for deeper understanding. 4. Acknowledge differences. It's okay to say, I see where you're coming from, even though my experience is different. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. In a group setting, this can be a game changer. Here's why. 1. Bridges gaps. Understanding another's point of view can bridge cultural or personal divides. 2. Promotes kindness. When we empathize, our responses tend to be more compassionate. 3. Builds stronger bonds. A group where members understand each other tends to be more cohesive. We all have biases, but in group communication, it's essential to be aware of them and actively work against them. Here's how. 1. Self-awareness. Regularly self-reflect and identify your biases. 2. Educate yourself. Seek information from varied sources to understand different viewpoints. 3. Challenge assumptions. Don't jump to conclusions based on your biases. Ask questions instead. 4. Encourage feedback. Allow others to point out when you might be showing bias, and be open to adjusting. In conclusion, respecting diverse perspectives and opinions is the cornerstone of effective group communication and collaboration. By actively listening, showing empathy, and challenging our biases, we can build stronger, more inclusive group dynamics. We hope this video helps you in your collaborative journey. Until next time, keep respecting and keep learning.